Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be 10 winter wardrobe staples. I absolutely love doing this type of video because I actually get to show off <laughs> the staple pieces in my own wardrobe that I think everybody kind of needs to have in theirs. And I've done, I'm pretty sure I've done spring. I know I've done a fall and this is going to be winter. But I know I've done a fall one, so go check that one out because it is technically still fall here. But I'm in Kentucky and it's October, so it's starting to feel like winter. It's moving in fast. So I'm going to share with you my 10 winter wardrobe staples. Keep in mind that my color palette is blacks and reds with pops of white. So you are going to see a lot of black in this especially for my basic pieces because I wear a lot of black. I have all 10 items behind me and I'm just going to kind of scoot back and show you and we're going to go from there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the shoes. I don't usually include shoes in <laughs> my wardrobe staple pieces but these are, I got these while they were, they were on sale. These are relatively pricey, but these were on sale on walmart.com this past, I don't even know if it was March or April, I know it was spring, and I was hoping I'd get to wear them before it got too warm, but nah, I didn't. So, these are my hunter boots, and I, these have become a staple for this season really quick. I've already... I've worn them twice this year already. <laughs> We're just now in the beginning of cold weather, so yeah. And but we're also in Kentucky's rainy season. <laughs> it's, it's October, it's going to pretty much rain almost. So, so my hunter boots. And you don't have to pair, have a pair of hunter boots, but I think it's that one piece that if you're going to splurge on a pair of shoes, this would be a pair of shoes to splurge on because they're pretty much universal and they can go with pretty much anything because they're black. Well, at least I got black ones. Of course, you can get other colors. I want the red ones. I want the red ones, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So moving on to clothes, the first thing would be, this is a Macy's brand, I'm pretty sure, but it's a 30 do, th ew, 32 degree heat, long sleeve, it's like a thermal, kind of almost like an Under Armour thing, but it's not as expensive as Under Armour. But my mom got me this for Christmas last year, and I absolutely love it. And last year, I was working at a daycare, and it was freaking freezing in my classroom, so anything that I could layer under my uniform shirt was wonderful. And I know I'm going to wear this this year, too, especially working at the firehouse, especially when it gets cold. Especially cold, cold. Yeah. So this will be a staple again this year, and of course this works for other than layering, but I prefer it for layering, and it keeps you warm. The next thing is, like I said, there's going to be a lot of black in here, is I live in, um, oh, okay, sorry, it's TV in the other room. I live in Cole's long sleeves pretty much all winter. This, the shirt I have on right now is a Cole's <laughs> one, but, um, this, the sew and the mud long sleeves, I absolutely love them. I go between the sew and the mud, this is a sew one, but I pretty much live in these. I have several different colors in both brands, but. I prefer the sew ones, and I don't know why, especially right now. I guess because they're a little bit looser. But I will totally be restocking 
in my closet with these this year. So I need a few more pillows. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. So these I and these are really good, especially for layering. If if you don't want to be completely, if you don't want like an underarm thing, it's like really skin tight. These work really well. And I like to layer. I like to wear a, sh a long sleeve shirt and then put a hoodie or a jacket or something on top of it. Or even my puffer vest, which you will see in a few minutes. But just a long sleeve shirt to go under something. And of course, you can wear them plain too. The next thing, and this is also from cold. This is new this year. I've never seen these. These are the Sew so Lounge Life sweatshirts. I bought this to go with, go over my work shirt. That way it, I'm still warm because it is kind of fleecy on the inside. But this is the black one. And this is nice if you're looking for a sweatshirt but you don't want a hood. Because I love hoodies, but sometimes it's nice to have something that's not a hoodie. So, the So Lounge Life sweatshirt from Kohl's. They do have several other colors. But I think I might just go on and order another black one. Because <laughs> I think black one's the only one I really like. But I highly recommend this if you're looking for a sweatshirt. It's inexpensive. It's from Kohl's and it's good quality. So I've washed it two or three times because I do wear it at work. And it has held up. Okay. The next thing are fleece, long sleeves. Especially in this one's the brand is made for life. I've had it. It's from JCPenney. It's years old. I don't know if they still make them. I don't know if they still have them. But it's just a fleece long sleeve shirt and it's perfect for winter. And I have this one and I have a green one as well. And I did size up in this. So if you're looking at these if they still do have them. I would probably size up if you like a more comfortable fit. But of course I could wear a size small in these as well. I just prefer to size up and stuff like this. But except the cold stuff I do usually keep my typical size. But absolutely love this. Of course any fleece long sleeve would work but this is just the one I have in my closet that I basically live in. The next thing, and you will see a pattern, <laughs> I'm getting into fleece. It's getting colder, I like my fleece stuff, so. Next, is, these are from Kohl's as well, and the brand is Pink Republic, it's from last year, I don't know if they still have them, but it's just fleece lined leggings, just solid black leggings, and they have fleece lining. And I have two pairs. I have this pair and a pair that I got from Zoo Lily, but they're both dirty because this is. I had to take this one out of the hamper to actually show you. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> the next thing this fleece jacket. Like I said, I got this for work last year. It's I don't work at the daycare anymore now. I work in the fire department, and I absolutely love this job. I would enjoy it for the world. So I'm not wearing this this year, except for when I'm not at work. But this works really well if you don't want to carry around your coat. Because right now it's still cold, but it's not freezing. It's not cold coat weather yet. So this is what I'm doing. I'm throwing this on with whatever underneath it. A pair of leggings or a pair of jeans and probably my hunter boots <laughs> to be completely honest. And a beanie and this is keeping me warm. This is from Zoo Lily. They probably don't have it anymore. This was from last year. But I absolutely love it. 
and it's held up great because I have washed it several times because I was wearing it a day wearing it at a daycare last year. But. And I did get a medium in it. So I just pr think a fleece jacket <laughs> does wonders, especially in the winter, especially if you're in a state that gets cold, but it doesn't get cold, cold until later on. And to be completely honest, my coat is never a staple piece because I'm just not one of those people who likes to wear fashionable coats. I get one that keeps me warm and that's pretty much it. And I ha do have a new coat I got this year. It's from Room 21 and it is in my, what I bought in September or October haul <laughs> that went up at the end of last month. So I will remember to link it somewhere in the cards. If it's not in the description box. And the next thing, these are from Old Navy. They're just fleece sweatpants. I don't go out in these. <laughs> these are setting, these are for lounging at home. But I absolutely love them. My mom got them for me for Christmas last year. They are Old Navy because it's pretty much where the only place she shops. But Old Navy fleece sweatpants. Yes, please, because. They're comfy, they're roomy, they're lounge pants. <laughs> so that's why I don't go out in them, but yes. <laughs> totally recommend a pair of fleece sweatpants if you don't already have one. And the final thing is a puffer vest. This is more for fall leading into winter than it is winter, but I do wear it in the winter especially as a fashion piece. I put on like a long sleeve shirt and I put this over it and it looks really cute. I actually did that this past weekend and I have a few outfit ideas with the puffer vest and hunter boots coming so be on the lookout for my outfit ideas video. So just it's just a plain puffer vest. This one's white. I have a red one. This was inexpensive. They do get really expensive if you get a high-end brand. This one is from Kroger. It was $15 from Kroger last year. I wanted it because I'd always wanted a puffer vest because it was just easier for me to not have to worry about a big bulky coat. <laughs> so, yes, and it's <laughs> white so it pretty much goes with everything. So that's it for my 10 wardrobe staple pieces. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not done so already, hit the red subscribe button down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.